you see Trayvon grow into his role this year? He's being a starting point guard. I know he didn't come here as that. How is he involved in what you can see? Well, you know, last year he was kind of thrown into the fire um, when I got when I got uh, injured. So he kind of had to step into that role, um, and it's definitely. I mean, it's tough to do. You know, he, he a young kid didn't really play much the year before, so he had to, he had to learn a lot on the fly. And this year, I think he he got a lot more confident in his ability. He learned a lot uh, from last year, and also just got better. And he, he he's showing this year how good of a player he can be. Josh, in your leadership role, do you kind of pride yourself on being the barometer of the defense, like locking down your guy and getting on other guys to say, we got we to step up the defensive intensity? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I definitely uh, know that's one of my, my big roles is to be a leader, especially on, on the defensive side of the court. And um, I'm usually guarding, you know, one of the better perimeter players. So I, I definitely, you know, put a lot of my attention on that in the court and uh, try to get other guys to rally around that as well because I know – you know, if we don't get stops, you know, we're, we're not going to win games, and that's ultimately what we're trying to do. I mean, we've proven we can win in a variety of ways. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that would put us in the best position to win, but I know we, we, we sure can. We've proven that. So uh, we're just going to go out there and try to execute our game plan. A lot of people are going with Bucky versus Bucky hashtag on Twitter. Is that okay, Moniker? That's good. I like that. I like that. Hopefully, hopefully Bucky comes out on top, though. <laughs> He's just gotten a lot better, a lot more confident. Um, he understands, I think, you know, we got a lot of guys in the court around him who can put the ball in the hoop. And the more you get to play with guys, the kind of better understanding you get. Um, so he's doing a great job of being uh, a leader when he's got the ball in his hands out there and making making smart decisions. And like I said, he's, he's just grown a lot from even the beginning of this year until now. I think he does a really good job. I mean, you know, like I said, last year he's kind of thrown into the fire a little bit with me going down, and this year he's embraced it a little bit more. He's got he learned a lot from last year what he needs to do, and the biggest thing with him is his confidence. You know, he's uh, you know as a freshman, if someone would get on him, he would kind of uh, you know sulk a little bit, or just he was a young player. He, he's grown up a lot, and that's something that I definitely admire in his game. Yeah, you know, their two guard uh, averages about 18 a game, and uh, it's someone I'm, I'm definitely going to be matched up with, you know, throughout the course of the game, I'm sure. Um, but at the same time, you, they have a lot of other guys who can put the ball in the hoop. They got some great bigs who can stretch the floor and uh, some quickness on the perimeter. What do you remember about the Wisconsin? I definitely remember that. I mean, I remember Russell sn spiking the ball, and there's only two seconds left, and it was a de devastating moment for Wisconsin fans, but. Uh, I remember it was a great game, and I hope we have j just as good of a one this time, except uh, Bucky comes out on top. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, regardless of what happened in football, we definitely want to win, but that, that may add some extra fuel to the fire for our fans. Um, you know, definitely a loss that we remember, uh, being a Wisconsin fan, and uh, it would be nice to come on top for sure. <laughs>